Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing The Grinch. If you want to see how I did this look, make sure you stay tuned. First we're going to start with Mayron's cream makeup and we're going to mix the green and yellow together to get this bright green color and then we're going to put it all over our face using Royal and Nichol Lane Nichols detailed brushes. Next, we're going to go on with Mayron's Basics Palette and Pastel's Water Base Palette. We're going to use the green colors in both of these, the dark green and the light pastel green for all the wrinkles and crepes and crevices all over the Grinch's face to show all the depth and highlight. And we're going to blend them all in and help them look seamlessly later with some shadows. Again, we're going in with some more Royal and Elaine Nickel brushes, as you can see for all these details and these lines. Don't worry, they don't have to be perfect because nobody's face is symmetrical. To help get the Grinch the way I wanted him, I had a few photos for reference that I kept near me to keep using throughout the process to see where I want all the wrinkles at, um, how high, how low, how I wanted them around the eyes, the forehead, and everything like that. So I definitely suggest doing some research on Instagram or Pinterest as needed because there's so many different versions of the Grinch out there. Maybe the female version of the Grinch, maybe a more special effects version, party paint, or just the regular glam one. There's so many versions. Take your own perspective on this and make it how you want to using whatever makeup products you have on hand. This can be done however you want it to be done. As you can see, we're still going with that green from the Basics palette and just creating all the deep wrinkles around the face where we want them and all the basic lines. Now we're going to go on with the pastel green from the Pastel's palette. We're going to put it in where the highlights are going to be and then we're going to either use our finger or a brush to kind of pat it in with that cream paint to help it blend in. It won't look seamless so that's we're going to go in with the shadows later to help blend it in even more to make it look even more seamless as much as we possibly can between the body paints um, and the shadows as well. But you can see I'm putting it on real light and then I'll go in and blend it and I can pull it down, drag it down more as needed throughout the face. And as you can see, I'm using a brush from the Coastal Sense Elite brush set that they've sent me. Um, this brush set does have a lot of detail brushes that I really loved in this set that I was able to use on this face um, as I was going through doing details and blending and uh, liner work and that kind of stuff. When you're going through and highlighting the face, you gotta think about the facial structures and everywhere you're gonna highlight just like you would on a regular glam face. You're thinking about the forehead, you're thinking about under the brow bones, that kind of stuff, and also along the bridge of the nose um, and the nose itself. You'll see me do this throughout the video, as well as I'm creating the Grinch and bringing it to life. Here we are using the James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist Palette from Morphe. We're going to use those like lime green shade and then darker like forest green shade from the palette. As you can see I'm going with that darker green around the deep parts of the wrinkles on the face and I'm just going to go and blend it right around those lines um, on the wrinkles and then I'm going to buff it out once we've laid everything out. 
um, the wrinkles as we go. But we're going to just deepen everything first like we did before. And then we're going to use the highlight one to blend everything and then buff all the edges in so they look a little bit more seamless. You can really see um, the depth on the character and all the dimension come through on the character as we start to do this slowly but surely. But make sure to take your time. These are... Um, what are these? Lexi brushes. Yeah, Lexi brushes that I got. These are real small blending brushes meant for detail work and everything like that. They can pack on real easy and then I can blend them out really well. So as you can see, they really don't go really far unless I push them to go that far. So that's what I really like about them. They can punch the color in for me and then I can just blend out like a dream, which is super nice. Keep in mind when you see my videos, I do speed up all my steps a little bit and you don't see my cleanup as I go so when you're seeing this this doesn't look like it takes long but these really take me a couple hours to do I take my time on doing these parts and I do take breaks to make sure this looks as seamless as possible so really take your time on these looks they should take you a few hours don't think that this is only going to take you an hour and you're going to be done um if you're new to body painting as well and blending and thinking about contouring all over the face besides just doing the the your cheekbones and your nose these are lengthy looks and depending on how big you go with these they can, can take even longer if you add special effects if you're um doing beauty and then partial body paint that's two different projects that's going to take a little bit more time so think about that when you're doing these and starting the process Now, as you can see, we've started to add that lighter lime green shade from the Alicia and Artist palette. And it's helping to create that more seamless look, as you can see, between all the wrinkles on the Grinch's face. Pack in a little bit, and then we blend it out. Now, I use a little bit on the outer edge, but I'll go in with a little bit more of a fluffy brush towards the end, just to help it be more seamless. But I packed it in, and then I blended it out as best I can without ruining all the layers that we already have in there we put done our base green then we did our dark green then we did our lighter green to create all this dimension to our face and we don't want to lose that here we are going in with just the black to give those brows a little bit more boldness make them stand out a bit i didn't go with as big of a brow as the grinch had i wanted them bold um and but i didn't want them twirled up the way he had them so I did them a little bit more I guess feminine you could say um with some sparse little hairs little bushiness little curls you could say maybe I should have left them green but I wanted to do them black so here we are just I put the green down first and I decided man I like them black so I just went over and painted them up again this is another coastal sense brush um from the elite set to 24 piece set um, and I'm really loving these brushes that they sent me. They're really great for so many different things, for doing a full face, for doing any detail work that I do with body painting and eye detail work. Um, and you guys will love them too. And here we are just going and putting a little liner in. We're going to paint on a few little lashes towards the end. Nothing too crazy because the Grinch has some lashes, but nothing too pretty or elaborate. Here I am just going and doing the Grinch's nose. I'm using that dark green once again, and then I'm going to go in and pat in that lighter green right in the center just to give it that highlighted look to give it more of that dimension. And I feel like once we put the nose on, you could really see the character coming to life.
here's the final look i added some more body paint to the outfit just brought the green down add a little sand suit on the bottom and added a pop beauty lip uh, for the bottom lip for the Grinch from their new set that they sent us. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. If you want to see any more of my tutorials, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you soon. Love you!